Alright, here we are. We are watching State of Play, 27th of October version. And it seems some people are dissatisfied with this whole ordeal, you know what I'm saying? And then by the looks of it, it's only like, what, 20 minutes long? Yeah, it's 20 minutes long. A little, little drop of the old content for me to react to. Alright. As long as it's good shit they reveal. I mean, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, I already know that it's one of them. But what about the others? What? Um... Everybody, this is another free-to-play game. Battle Royale. Um... Okay, whoa. It's definitely... Is this made in Japan? Because I got a feeling that this is made in Japan. Your face on TV. I like the groove. Go hunting time. Hunter G. Hunting time, Hunter G. I never saw this before. If this was uh, revealed prior to the state of play, I have. Uh, I'm sorry, I have no idea what this game is. It's like an all new thing. Forge new weapons and compete again. I don't know, it looks kind of tedious. No amount of epic battle music can convince me that this will look... This will look and play as good as the first couple of hours, you know. It's gonna get pretty... Death verse, let it die. Oh, let it die, it's for part of the let it die... It's the same like Suda51 game, right? Let it die. It's like that franchise. War. All right. Okay. Politics or race or imperialism. Out there, we look to each other and to our thick arms. You done? And you're like, how did they get them that thick? Is this like an alternate reality? It's like the same uh, graphical style as. Uh, our last hope is arms. Severus. Various indie game. I'm just supposed to introduce our band and the game about our band, right? Can, can we do something fun with it? Like, can we be like, why is it called State of Play? What are we, the president? The, what are we, the... We've talked about these jokes. At least they're self-aware about it. And there's personality to this. Yeah, back from the mix engineer, and she's cool with getting song stems on Sunday. Itsu! How's the PlayStation blog post going? Are hashtags too much? I, I want to reach more people, but I don't think I trust people who use hashtags. Uh, Itsu, you're the best at this. It's normal speed, but the piano is a bit distorted. Carter, what you working on? Just a little audio filter I cooked up for debug here. Can debug make me sound like a demon? <laughs> okay, uh, give me one more run through and we'll take a proper break, yeah? Okay, hi! We Are OFK is a new music biopic game about us. The indie this reminds me of a game. I have no idea what. Like, the, the artistic style they went for. The choices and texting and flirting and each episode lets you play an interactive music video. Cool. It's like Valiant Heart or something. The thing that I'm trying to remember here. Wearing nothing but PlayStation 5 DualSense controllers. Oh god. No. Nope. Okay, the cutout is still TBD, but We Are OFK is coming to PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 in 2022. The future. Yeah, this looks, this looks like a concept more than a solid game that I can see playing. I'm looking forward to more actual gameplay though. I did not expect an update in this game. That was a one and done deal. Maybe like a sequel, but not like a DLC or something. Bunger. Did you all see that? Giant bug snacks. Okay, when in the timeline of bug snacks is this you know set in? Because there is a definitive ending to bug snacks. Uh, bro, has anybody seen my hat? Snacks with hats? That's adorable. That's not all, buddy. Ta-da! We finally finished your huts! So keep checking your mail, do some redecorating, and before you know it, this will feel like home. Huh. So definitely set in the box next island. Stop wasting time and get on with this expedition before I'm as old as Shelda. Ready yourself! A great danger of- Kinda like Atlantis. Huh. 
Alright. Will this, like, change the overall story? I'm kind of fucking... <laughs> curious. Well, overall, yeah, it's a big free update. Probably not that major of changes. It's for those who, who just can't get enough of bug snacks for some reason. Now this is the security breach. Retired, but they'll be back again next week after a few days of scheduled maintenance. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is now closed. Initiating nighttime protocols. No, no, wait, I'm still here. We got a security guard who has uh, uh, tons of fan art. Let's just say, already even before the game is out. Not that I know anything about it. I mean, I just browse some Twitter. Oh fuck. You should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. Until then, keep moving. These are actual characters. I don't know why this fucking CCTV footage gameplay has such low poly graphics, you know. Low quality shit. Everything else looks great. It's a furry material. Love it. The LGBT community that ta <laughs> that Scott Coston has Nurtured with such care, will enjoy this game. I bet. For one free soda refill, and where you will sign a legal disclaimer, releasing us of all liability for anything that might have happened during your visit. Have an awesome night, and we'll see you again soon. Still got that. Oh, hello. Would you like to take a short survey about your experience? We still have that uh, voice. Do you use the same voice? Like challenging action RPG coming soon to PlayStation. Let's take a look. This is like the crow game, top down, isometric, whatever. I'm not, I wasn't really interested in it, and I'm still not really that interested in it. I heard it was made by just like two people, and you know, for that, I'm on board with their future successes. But this particular game does not interest me. Yeah, Death Store. Whoa, Titan Souls 3. Now that is a game that I am interested in. Okay. Okay, let's see. Cartrider Drift. Oh. Yeah, alright. This reminds me of the days where we couldn't afford Mario Kart or Nintendo Switch. I mean, Nintendo consoles that were used to play Mario Kart on. So we had to settle with like a secondhand PS2 and Bomberman Kart. And that's the, the most that we got. Why does it feel like... my? Oh, it has 1.4. And now that makes sense. Oops. Uh -huh. We're, I'm gonna get copyrighted from this. Way another. This looks. This looks competent in a developer sense. It looks competent. I would say that. So yeah, the piano from before, that like, TDK game or whatever. It's not. It's just my problem. Shatter all expectations. <laughs> Okay, what is this? Uh-huh. <laughs> Dolores. I know I have no idea why would I get hyped for this character. I have no idea who she is. I am no alright, cough cough fifteen? Is it? Fuck. You know, it has that fighting game aesthetic that people love so much, I guess. I don't know. So I'm not interested in this. I love Shermie's hairstyle, though. 100% visibility. Love that like heavy metal music in the background. 
really wants me really wants me to like rock out. Just get a fucking tattoo. Oh, I don't know. Is this um? Hi everyone, I'm Niels, also known as Bitterbird. Hi everyone, I'm Emily, also known as Norstead. Hi. Today we're excited to share First Class Trouble with you. First Class Trouble is an online social deduction game featuring a dangerous cocktail of difficult decisions and wacky possibilities. It's kind of like that game where you're on a cruise ship, and either you're the killer or you have to like figure out the killer. Let's check out that recent match we played. That was a good one. When the round begins, that was a good one. A Let's take a look. The curated gameplay we have. So this is me. I played as a resident in this game. Cool. Super. Love it. I enjoy myself. So you're a robot. Great outfit that you have on there. Thank you. The most important question. But I mean, like. This robot is sentient. Right? I know, right? <laughs> I'm not saying uh, I want to do anything to the robot, but I, I should I should focus on the on this lovely presentation that they have. When a system is sabotaged or a trap is sprung, this is a good time to start casting doubt on the loyalty of the other residents. Cool. Yeah, you had me so convinced. You did such a great job. I even helped you take him out. You really got me on this game. I never suspected you at any point. This is like in, uh, that game, that that like suspicious game that you always say that someone is suspicious. It's like almost within the group. Like among the players, among us. Cool. I'm sure it has like plenty of uh, variety. And major differences that set itself apart from other games of its genre. Sure. Alright, Scary so next, let's see what you have. Scanning breath. Please do not blow into the mic. Whoa, who is this? The Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the. All right. Um, I know this is like a part of an established universe. It's based on an old video game. I don't know. I'm barely twenty. You know what this reminds me of? The first time they showcase Xenoblade Chronicles. X for the Wii U. My god, that brings back memories. Just like the sheer scale, but also the, the graphics. They're not really good. Are you quite alright? Are you quite alright? <laughs> Super cool. Super <laughs> cool. Um... Yeah, this looks fantastic. Damn you! The full Federation fleet's Damn you! Beep boop boop beep boop. Let's go to it. We aren't. The crew of the Edis needs you. Whoa! Okay, I'm a bit harsh in the graphics. It's not that bad, all right, but it's just like it's so bland. Not bland, more artificial. It doesn't feel real. Like when you take a look at Breath of the Wild, shit, this is like a real world that like can influence. This looks like you put the world of Xenoblade Chronicles X and just, you know, up it a little bit with, with bigger boobs for the anime ladies because 30 year old weebs still want some of that 2D goodness. The Divine Force, yeah, Star Ocean, yeah, it's part of the Star Ocean franchise, there we go. The remake or whatever coming 2022 thank you square enix for that looking forward to the slightly just above average reviews of the game
Okay, you have my curiosity. It's like a single player game, I hope. Graphical fidelity is pretty good. It has a strong style, it's not just, you know, fucking graphics for the sake of graphics. It's a sense of style. Alright, get on the fucking bus. Let's see what our journey lies. Alright, camera work is not bad for a video game. Like any other day, Billy sets out on another job. Looks like he's reading the letter he received. The job seems simple enough. Side scroller? Billy arrives at Cornfield Station. Or not? To meet Professor Vincent. Okay. Be nearby. My interest oh, is piqued. There's an old lady up ahead. During travel, you can engage with various people. Sometimes to buy goods, or simply ask for directions. Seems like a calming game. Like you just take a sit back and relax, forget about the worries of the world, and just immerse yourself in this cute little toy-like wonder world. Just fucking, um, I like the graphical styles. I had like tilt shift, so like photography implemented. Just like punches in the sense that you, you are in a toy like world. I love it. Fuck me. Although I'm still like vague. I only have a vague idea of what gameplay is. He's greeted by who seems like the owner. The job is to pick up a mysterious artifact and deliver it to Professor Vincent. Looks like it's kept in the mansion's basement, leaving behind the unsettling signs on the wall. Billy enters the basement chamber. <laughs> what an asshole! Well, it turns out. Uh. Like when he said artifacts, like, oh, it's gonna like be like Moonlighter. In a sense, yes. In a sense, no. It's like much more involved. It's like lots of fucking. During his travels, Billy needs to resort to his survival instincts and make use of whatever he has to survive. Often being exposed to. Can, can you just. Of Mother oh, like. Be amazed at how good this game looks. Holy shit. Finding safe places to camp and cooking up food is all part of the journey. All part of the journey. It's like a very adventure game. Pure adventure, I would say. And worse, caught in a snow like adventure action, more so, than, more so action adventure, you know what I'm saying. To pull his out of the snow. What will be their fate? Yeah, he dies. What else? So why did the two butlers? And imagine what he has to face. Some expect it, more often. Oh god. Sorry. Well, that looks like a tree. He has like just one expression. I respect that. Welcome to the world of little devil inside. It's a bit cheeky. But I'm sure it has some very huge story significance somehow. That's it! Okay, 19 minutes. Um, you know what I think? I think it's a solid, small gift to PlayStation gamers all around the world. With that said, this could have been just a series of tweets. Or like, a fucking posts on the community tab on YouTube. You just release trailers. And then you put out 
community post state of play mini mini state of play or something because this is it's, it's good because little devil inside and uh, finance at freddy's security breach um looks amazing but everything else you can do away with right like really trying hard to justify it being its own presentation i'll say it again you know tendo has it right because when they do a direct they have it's very full you get a feeling experience from it once you're done watching it you have the sense that you have eaten a the main course all right this playstation state of play feels like an appetizer towards something bigger which isn't necessarily the case no that's my thoughts